Okay, so <clears throat> first thing to do is to download um, OPN Sense. So you go to opnsense.org and then go on to the download link, select AMD64 and VGA, and then select your closest um, server, mirror location, and then go download. It'll download it. I'll download it onto my uh, desktop here, and you'll see it, sh it should have uh, the last few things will say VGA.AMD64. So then you also want to download a piece of software called Rufus. So just go to Google or Bing or whatever, type in Rufus, go to download, and it will download it. Download and install that. Um, it's actually an EXE file. So um, to run it, you just basically type in, you type in Rufus in here and it'll bring it up and it'll, it'll open it up like so so um so i need to do that now of course rufus we'll go to this app here and start that up okay so then you need to install your i'll take this out so install your usb stick So that's popped up there it's populated and to make sure you've got the right one um, if you've got a usb stick that's already got an operating system or anything that's non-recognizable by the windows um, format discs it won't show up in um, explorer so if you go into explorer and go to your pc they don't it don't, doesn't come up the actual usb drive so to find your usb drive to make sure it is the right one right click on the window icon which could be on the left or the middle depending if you're using windows 11 or 10 go to uh, disk management we'll bring up this box here and you can see here we've got removable disk is online and if i pull that out you'll see it does go away so that is the correct one and as you can see i do have some uh, stuff already done on there because i've already created this this setup so basically you make sure you select um, disk or ISO image please, please select select the image so this is on my desktop which is over here so I've got that and then go ready and then hit the start button and once it hits the start button it'll come up with um, warning data will be display, uh, destroyed on the disk one 16 gigabit so if this is your main drive you're going to have a lot of problems so i'm going to cancel this normally you'd go okay and then it would start the process and it takes about five minutes and then basically that sets up a usb drive <clears throat> as a disk so then what you need to do is you need to reboot the system hold down either um, press press continually press escape or delete or f1 or f2 whatever your computer needs to boot into the bias and then once you're in the bias then um, you'll be able to select the primary disk as the USB drive and then and then run that USB drive and we're going to skip to that in a moment so I'm just going to stop this recording Oops. okay so I've got the image installed now on my USB stick as I showed in the first video so what I need to do now is a need to press the power button and that will start up B-Link hold down the escape button and we'll just check to make sure using the right arrows four times brings you up to the boot section and then scroll down using the down arrow um, and set this up usually this will be set up uh, as UFI hard disk and then normally it'll have like DVD or something like that. So I'm just going to basically disable that. I'm using the arrow keys up and down. And then the enter key to, to select the one I want. So disable. And change boot option 1 down, down, down. We want the USB device. A right hand arrow. And then enter. Save configuration. Yes. 
Okay, so I'm just going to let this run through a normal setup. Um, just without any assistance at all. I'm not touching any buttons. So I'm just going to let it do its own thing. Because we want to basically get it to the installer mode so that we can then select it to write to a hard drive. So I've touched nothing. I've just let it reboot. Uh, and it's booting from this USB stick here. Which we installed off uh, Rufus in our previous video. So it's just going through. It's automatically configuring all the um, interfaces and all that sort of stuff. It'll automatically see here inter manual interface assignment. You can put it in here if you wish, but I'll just leave it to auto because you can change all that later. So it's configuring the LAN interface and configuring the WAN interface. Configuring the firewall, set up GUI, done. So, okay, so it should come up with the um, a, a login screen. Okay, like that. So in the login field, um, type in, in for the actual login installer. Enter. And then OPNSense SE in se as the password and that gets us into this screen here open sense installer now this is the area where you will actually select it to go onto another drive and in this case we want to try and get it into the drive here inside here which is actually loaded with windows at the moment but we'll we'll fix that so basically we can continue with default emap uh, down the bottom it tells you um, select arrow with the arrow keys, cancel, um, or so escape is cancel and tab or enter. So we're going to go enter here. So choose one of the following disks, okay. So um, I'm going to go install. Select a disk. Okay, so here's where we get to select the disks. So this one here is the one we want to select because that's the 128 gig drive, SSD drive, which is inside this box. So we'll go OK. Um, petition with a recommended swap size of 8 gig. Yes. Last chance. Are you sure you, are you, sure you want to destroy the current contents of the following disks? Go yes. So it's written the petition. It's cloning the current system. Okay, so it says um, system is nearly complete. So this is a section where you can change your root password. We're not going to do that. Um, we're going to hit the down arrow here and select complete install, exit and reboot. So I'm going to go enter. I'm going to pull this disc out. Oh. So I'm going to hit the escape key here. And I'm going to go across to the um, boot section. And go to the SSD. Select that. Okay, so it's loading into this is loading loading on the actual drive itself so the USB stick is not installed so hopefully this will actually boot up and load the um, operating system and everything so we it should just run 
Okay, so when you reboot the device, I've got this screen here set up as the actual this unit here. I've got a network cable plugged into my normal PC, and I've managed to log into the unit using uh, 192.168.0.0. one um, and using um, root and OPN sense as a username and password so that's got me to this stage here so as you can see I had to muck around because if you can see here I've got like link reo and re1 is like the the um, two interfaces the um, ethernet interface re0 um, and so what I've figured out is this one here and with this device here I'm um, looking at the back of the unit powers on the right hand side it's automatically configured up the LAN port is a, it's the one on the right and the WAN port is the one on the left so 0 and 1 so we can see here that oh sorry um, sorry the other way around um, so this is this is one here on the left and 0 is the one on the right because we're actually in Ethernet zero, and the link's up, so we're connected in there now, which tells it tells it tells you the link's up. So this is pretty much what the device is seeing from the outside, um, from a um, a console-based interface. And so in here, once you log in, automatically it gives you the option to set up a, a, a wizard. So um, we'll go next. And I'm just going to leave everything standard. Leave everything standard. I'm not touching anything at all. So now that your device is all configured, all you need to do is create your VLANs. You can reassign your IP addresses. You can reassign your interfaces and swap them over if you wish. Um, there's so many options with this device, it's great. Um, I've got it set up with a VPN um, using NordVPN and it runs very, very quickly. So, yeah, best of luck and um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you. Westio.